The holidays typically bring thoughts about those less fortunate. However, for the most part, holiday drives are focused on children. Be a Santa to a Senior takes a different approach, helping the elderly, many of whom are facing poverty, loneliness, and bittersweet memories of holidays past. Here to tell us about the BA Santa to a Senior program is Stacy English with Home Instead Senior Care. Stacy, thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you for everything Home Instead Senior <laughs> Care does for the community, <laughs> does for the Council on Aging, and y'all are a great partner of ours, and we just appreciate you and Carlette so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate doing all of it in the community. Well, y'all are certainly out there. Well, and you're out there with this Be a Santa, but before yes. we get into that, just tell us a little bit about Home Instead Senior Care for those who may not be as familiar with y'all as we are. Sure. Um, Home Instead Senior Care is a non-medical company that provides uh, non-medical care to seniors wherever they call home. So anything that might be like their, la their laundry, their light housekeeping, shopping, errands, um, we'd even do things like personal care that includes bathing, grooming, and incontinence issues. Um, we employ home health aides that provide those services. Okay, well, I know y'all are very, very busy all year long and you're extra busy right now as we were <laughs> talking about with the Be a Santa to a Senior program. Tell us a little bit about well, what's the goal of the program? Well, the goal of the program is to really to provide seniors with uh, um, gifts in, during this season. You know, a lot of times the seniors are left out. Um, you're probably familiar with the angel tree for kids. Um, and, you know, I think the kids are always remembered every year, but um, we are really finding that the seniors were being left out. So this is something that we created. Um, actually, our home office out of Omaha created it. So it is a nationwide event. But, um, but what we do is we make sure that the seniors are getting gifts, um, very simple gifts, things like blankets, coats, shirts, socks. Some of them will even request um, a movie that they haven't seen in a long time. I've seen the list of some of the things they request and you know they're not items that most people would think of as a luxury holiday item. They're things that most people would consider a very basic. Yes. Um, Absolutely. Small, small item. It is so, so important. Now, how many years have y'all been doing this here locally? Um, this is our 11th year. Well. Yes. Um, and it, of course, it's grown every single year. Um, this year, we, what we've decided to do is um, to really focus more on making sure that everybody gets a gift. So um, mm -hmm. we've got some specialized or we've got some certain areas that, um, that in Walmart that is uh, actually. Okay. Well, tell us a little bit, um, we mentioned Walmart. I know there's there are trees in specific Walmarts yes. in, uh, in the area, so uh, we'll be showing those addresses, and, and I'm sure you'll can mention those as well, but specific um, Walmart or Sam's, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so what's the process? Is there a tree there? And I know you brought an ornament. Yes. <laughs> uh, so tell us a little bit about how somebody can be a Santa to a senior. Well, uh, what we do is we adopt... Um, you know, Meals on Wheels are recipients at Council on Aging or some of the facilities around town. And what we do is they fill out wish list. And like I said, it can be things like what I'd suggested uh, for them to pick, like the coats, the socks, the t-shirts, um, um, even heaters. Um, some recipients have even requested something like a vacuum so they can help clean their house. But um, this is an example of the wish list. And what we do is we actually put it on a paper ornament. And then the ornament goes on a Christmas tree at Sam's or Walmart. And um, what will happen is um, at the retail store, a consumer will come in and pick one of the um, items off the tree or the ornament off the tree. And they will go buy the gift. And once they purchase the gift, they'll put it in the box that's located next to the tree. And then what we do is we pick up the gifts um, every so often and bring them mm -hmm. back to our office and we sort them out and then distribute them to where they need to go. Great, well that's a great partnership at um, Walmart and Sam certainly has the visibility, but it also helps with their sales. And you're probably yes. like us when we do periodic calls for heaters and air conditioners, we do have to say, you know, they do have to be new items. Correct. They do have to be in the original packaging because we're regifting them and safety is also a huge concern as well as providing somebody with a, with a gift. So y'all are the same way, right? Exactly. You know, we do request that they are new gifts. Um, however, some people might have something at their home that they've never used. It's all the tags on it and we can use that as well. Okay. Um, but 
you know, I would say, you know, 95% of the things that we do get, they are coming actually from the store at Walmart or Sam's. Sure. And, um, and like you said, it does help with the sales at the store. Mm -hmm. So it is and a win-win situation yep. for everybody. Grab the ornament, go buy it, leave it at the box. You don't even have to carry it to your car. It's exactly. Done, done deal. Um, well, there's also other ways that people can help. I understand you have a community wrap party, is it? Yeah, what we do is um, a lot of times the gifts, um, they come unwrapped is what we say. So they're actually in Walmart bags. So what we do is we keep those in um, a specific area in our office and they accumulate <laughs> over I'm the sure next few do. weeks. <laughs> and um, what we do is we um, volunteer, have volunteers come in and help us wrap the gifts. And so we have a specific day this year. It's December 17th at 10 a.m. at our location at our office at 100 North Spring Street. And um, we get anyone that, um, you know, just maybe individuals in the community. Sometimes we actually get uh, military that come in and help wrap. But um, what's really neat is that we feel like everybody kind of gets involved. For example, mm -hmm. the Apple Market, they donate um, paper bags and it helps us wrap the gifts very quickly and efficiently. Um, but before we actually wrap the gifts, we have students, children that actually decorate the bags that's so great. that they have some nice little artwork to give to the seniors. So, so anybody that's interested or wants to help, you know, maybe somebody just likes to wrap and yes. they don't have that many family in the area um, and they just like to wrap. Can they just call you up and say, hey, I'm coming? Yes, absolutely. We um, would love anybody to come help us wrap because it is a four or five, six hour day of wrapping. So mm -hmm. the more hands that we can have, the quicker we can get through it. Great. Well, this is all about, you know, getting the gifts back to the seniors. And tell us a little bit about some of the feedback you get from the people who actually get a gift or maybe stories that the person who delivers the gift has has come back and told y'all. How does this, really, how does this impact the person who's receiving the gift? You know, we really get an overwhelming response. Um, we actually will get letters from the actual individual that receives a gift, just completely heartwarming, overjoyed, um, can't believe how giving, you know, the community is to these seniors. Um, we get letters from Council on Aging, you know, stating how grateful they are that we're able to provide these gifts. Um, the facilities, for example, what they do is they keep all the gifts in one room and then they have a big Christmas party and everyone opens them up together. And um, the seniors are just tears of joy. It really is just a really heartfelt experience. Well, I know, and it's just hard to explain to people sometimes um, some of the homes that I've been into and just the, the isolation, yes. the, um, they're just basically getting by. Yes. And these items are uh, a real difference maker. It is. It makes them feel like someone's actually thinking about them and that, um, you know, they're able to experience a little bit of Christmas because it could very well be their last Christmas. That's right. Um, well, before we go, just um, let's go over again the, the specific Walmarts in the Pensacola um, in, in Pace area, I believe. Yes. Yes. Um, we do have a tree at Pace Walmart. Um, it is at the entrance of the um, uh, grocery store side. Uh, we do have a tree at Gulf Breeze Walmart that's in the entrance of the merchandise side. And then uh, the tree that we have here in Escambia County is at Sam's Club. Um, so we have three locations this year. Um, however, there's a Walmart at Highway 29 um, that is, they don't have a tree set up, but they are holding a couple of ornaments on hand. So if somebody is in that location and wants to get an ornament, they can just ask customer service. Great. Well, good luck with it. And thank you for taking the time to do it. I know it is a huge uh, <laughs> undertaking and you do a great job with it. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. We really enjoy it. Well, thanks.